Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Holy crap, we are finally here. Arrow, Season 5, Episode 10. Who are you? The Return of Laurel Lance. Yes, I'm so fucking excited. Unfortunately, with that trailer they put out a while back, they spoiled a major reveal revolving around Laurel's character. I won't talk about it here in case you haven't seen the trailer. But there was a big reveal. And I was wondering if that was deliberate or if there was a reasoning behind why they revealed that in the trailer. But regardless, I'm hyped. I cannot wait. I think there's more to this whole situation than just the reveal of Laurel's character and all that kind of stuff. So regardless, I'm hyped. I'm excited. It's time. Let's go. Oh. Sarah, she. Oh, this is a lie, right? To the wave rider. Well, I don't know. There's also a theory. There's two laurels in this. I don't know. Oh, that quick! Wow, that quick. We'll see. Cheers. Cheers. Hoot and nanny. See, I think Felicity has a sneaking suspicion that that's not Laurel. So, see? <laughs> DNA testing. Sorry. Ooh, what about uh, evil twin? Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay? oh. <laughs> She actually has an evil twin. Yes. Seriously? Yeah, she's locked up in Starlabs. I'll explain later. Right now, we have to call Wait. Ooh. Nope. But my question, when did you find out, Felicity, about Black Siren? That's my fucking question. <laughs> There's an evil doppelganger in Star Labs. What the fuck? When did you find that out? Damn. Come on, man. You can do it. Do you have a sister? Because I hear she loves sisters. <laughs> okay. Now, Oliver seems to think that because you look like Laurel. Shit. Shit. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It was all a trick, right? It was all a trick. Or is it another fucking ploy? God damn it. <sighs> oh, shit. Prometheus, god damn it. Round two! Ooh. Oh, damn. They couldn't use the machine. Ooh. Oh, deaf ears. Ooh. Oh my god. Come on, Curtis, right? Oh, yeah. Damn. 
Damn, all right. Hmm. No. Oh. I'm sorry she wasn't hurt. I know. I'm sorry about Billy. He was a good man. Damn. What the fuck? Wait, 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 what? What? Oh! Talia! Yeah! Oh my god! Fuck yes! No. I think that somewhere out there there is a woman worthy of Lowe's legacy. No. Not Felicity. Now all we gotta do is find her. Jesus Christ. Hub City. I thought people like you only existed in the movies. Who the fuck are you? Two guys trying to overcompensate for their lack of manhood by taking it out on a defenseless woman. Who the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Who are you? What the fuck? What the shit? Who are you? Okay, so I also saw the promo and I didn't record my reaction. They're going to be making someone else. Black Canary. Now, I don't know if this is permanent, but... Ooh, this is gonna piss off a lot of fucking people. <laughs> um, I'm personally willing to give it a shot. Because I don't think it's gonna be permanent. I think that... Black Siren will become good. And then that will be the Black Canary. At the end of after all this shit. <sighs> but... We'll see. But regardless, um, I like the fact that Black Siren played the team. I like that because she's like, he was going to kill me. And she was being all sympathetic and being all nice and sweet. And then she double-crossed the team. And Prometheus is at the warehouse and Prometheus and Siren were attacking the team. And um, it was a pretty cool twist because I honestly thought that when she turned against Prometheus and went to help the team, that that was going to be it, right? I did not expect the double cross. Maybe I should have. Maybe I am stupid. But I didn't know what to expect, but I really enjoyed this episode. Um, I like the fact that we got a little bit more of Mr. Terrific in this episode in terms of him dealing with the fact that his husband left him because of him being a vigilante and he... Basically, was mentioning all the times he's been stabbed, shot, and he's been, you know, beat, like beating the crap out of all the time. He feels worthless, and he found a way to make himself not feel worthless. So that's a really good thing um, that they did for there. That they did. I like the fact that they had more Diggle in this episode, even though he was arrested in the mid-season finale. The fact that they were still keeping um, him around, and they found a cool way to incorporate him into the mixed with the district attorney, which obviously is also vigilante. So I like that as well. And they're going to keep Diggle around and try to, they're, they're going to find a really cool way, I think, to beat these charges. So I can't wait to see how that's going to unfold because you know that Diggle's not going to be taken away forever. It's That's not going to happen. Um, then Felicity punches Black Siren and I was like, ugh. Oh shit. Oh God. Those theories of her becoming Black Canary is looking pretty serious and then they went this direction with this brand new female who screams just like black siren the real like black canary actually should and they're on the search for a new black canary i don't know i don't know guys but i really did enjoy this episode i'm just kind of confused and i'm just sitting back going oh boy because they're making a decision that's going to really piss off a lot of people so I don't know. We'll see. But regardless, I enjoyed the episode, but um, we'll see. We'll see. But Talia Al Ghul, 
nice reveal. I'm glad that, that she's officially on the show. I was wondering when they were going to bring her in, and now we have officially have her in the flashback, so that's cool. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about tonight's episode. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. Peace out.